We attended a briefing on human rights and democracy in Saudi Arabia today, and I was asked to say something about Gaza and U.S. policy. Here's what I said. So I would say, well, there is just almost zero democracy in Saudi Arabia, there is a sense of let's keep our ear to the ground and know which way the wind is blowing and move things in that direction. Sure. On the other hand, we have the United States where we are supposedly this great democracy with two political parties and free and fair elections. And yet, just think about it, the sentiment on the street in the United States is in favor of Gaza. We have seen this for months now with CNN polls and more recently with a Gallup poll that shows that the sentiment every month that goes by is more and more against what Israel is doing. And yet you have a White House that continues to go against even coming to Congress for weapons and authorizes over 100 weapons transfers in the last couple of months to Israel behind our backs but using our money. And you have here in the halls of Congress a total disregard for what people on the street uh, are, are calling for. And so, even to this day, while people in this room have been walking the halls of Congress every single day since the second week of October, mm -hmm. we only have about 70 members of Congress who have called for a ceasefire, and even then have couched it in different terms. Oh, a temporary mm -hmm. ceasefire, a ceasefire if the hostages are released. And we only have about a dozen members of Congress who have agreed to pledge that they will not send a vote for any legislation that would send more weapons to Israel. And we almost had with us today a congressperson who's supposed to represent the District of Columbia, Eleanor Holmes Norton. Well, we in the District of Columbia have been literally knocking on her door time and time again to meet with her because this is a very liberal city. And I would say the vast majority of people in this city want a ceasefire and no more weapons to Israel. And yet Eleanor Holmes Norton has not even come out with a call for a ceasefire. And every time we go to her office, she locks the door, literally locks the door, and refuses to meet with us. And when we ask her schedule a time and time again for a meeting, we get zero response. Of course, she doesn't have a vote in Congress. She doesn't have a vote on Congress, but her voice is important. And so I just want to say, as we are talking about the lack of democracy in Saudi Arabia, let's recognize that there is a huge lack of democracy here in the United States. Let's go.